Hello and welcome back to Dungeon of the Book. <laughs> and it's finally epilogue for the axe. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, should we give it back? Or maybe we should sell it after all? Not that we have little gold. We have lots of it, as you may see right now. We really have a lot of gold. And I mean it. We really have a lot of gold. So, do you have it? Perfect! Do you wish to give the axe back? Sure. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to let it go. Cough up the coins! Don't fret. My clients are very generous. Here. Greed is bad. But money don't grow on trees. This business has brought us closer, don't you think? As if, you hooded cockroach. Oh, this doesn't feel right. Like I've just lost a piece of me. Oh, you didn't lose an arm. Or your head. 3,000 gold coins. Pretty good price. And we gained some experience, so there is that. So, let's go back to the dungeon. Maybe we'll be able to buy something new in the basement. Eighth chapter The Dungeon Map. Done with the stairs? Uh, yeah, uh, think so. I. Didn't count the steps. They they could have put in an elevator. I ran all the way up, pussies. As I was saying, eighth chapter, the dungeon master. After contributing to the political stability of the chaos dwarves chaos kingdom. Chaos dwarves suck. All dwarves suck. Or go and wither away somewhere. Carrots give you great skin, and they help you see Excuse in the dark. Excuse me, trying to work here. So where were we? At the apex of their underground tribulations, our heroes shattered the Amulet of Chaos and have finally freed themselves from Tough Luck's curse. Or so they hope. I'm not crazy about the subtext here. I didn't listen. Too many words. I'm feeling negative energy here. La la la, I can't hear you. Nothing you hear. Oh, here you are. It so happens I just finished dumping off some gooey spider bits. Ew, when you say gooey, you mean the spiders or the bits? From what I've seen, both. Good. Now we have to decide what we'll do next. Well, as your leader, I... Oh no! Mercy! Not in my head! I can't sweep out the inside of my skull. Smoking is bad for your health. What the fuck? Who said things couldn't get worse? Ah! <laughs> my powers! At last! They've been released! Thanks! Thank you, you brainless adventurers! You gave me back what tough luck took from me! Unlimited power! I am... In the body of an old janitor. What? But my cinches hundred thousand avatars! I get it. He was forced to possess the first weak mind he could find. <laughs> what a loser. Next stop, nursing home for demons. Oh, he was this close to ending up in the elf. It's nice of you to care about me. It's just that if he had possessed you, I would have had the chance to split your dipshit skull. Actually, cleverness has nothing to do with willpower. Take the barbarian. Demons suck. Crowd eats four of them for breakfast every morning. What nuisances! Even in the body of a janitor, I can make you bite the dust! And I guess you're willing to try. Okay. <laughs> so we start on unfortunately. I don't really like this layout, but we'll have to look at what we have. Give us the amulet, then die. No, thank you. Damn it. Over the over oh, we What did we? Oh, okay. I get it. I'll end 
And you! Please move. Me too! After image. We have to kill all of them. <coughs> Just in case they might change into us. And I would let I and I would appreciate not fighting against our guys if they get our um our statistics. <coughs> a janitor oh, no. demon is still a demon. And I can do that. I have to keep an eye on the rats. Oh, you can eat at my house! Because they are out of the cage. And then they might create some mayhem. Firebird! If I'm <coughs> Get over here, and we'll kill at least one of them if she hits. Good. Let's get over here, and we'll try. Here I Let's am. Kill again. Yeah. <coughs> Yay! It makes nice. me want to cuddle with squirrels. Ow! You can hit him. <coughs> I'm going to enjoy this. I do. Okay, we're healing him each time we kill something. Yeah. Interesting. Can I... Can I check it? No, not really. Okay, let's heal her. She won't be able to use her AoE heal. Euclid, help us banish this despicable demon! And shout. Oh, I forgot about him. Sup? May as well try. <laughs> Damn it. Good deal, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, he's stunned. Nice. Which means she will be... Uh, she will be able to get through. You do this. Toga! See, I don't need you guys. It was her who did that. Ah, slick as a bar, so. Oh. Uh. 
because now she can use her heal. Like so, like so, yep. Get over here. Mm, and our teeth will noiseless, but not painless. Him, just like that. I'm yeah. still again. He's swapping places with us. Okay, okay, I see. Ow! Oh, that. Wake up! We're and not Brian. gathering chickens in Lube yep. here! Okay. Please, this time, hit. Damn it. Okay, get there. You're doing something or yeah. Yep, you are. Yeah. I really hate to <coughs> kill this guy. Yeah. I know we're healing him with that, but I think that's the only way we can really ensure Ow. that he oh, no. shows up somewhere near us. Yeah. Oh, we may even backstab him. Or not. Stayed home and stuffed chairs. What goes around comes around. Comes around. <laughs> he should get up now. <sighs> food. Exactly. Yes, food. Oh. You half wit. Let's delay your turn. So maybe they will swap places. I hope they will. <laughs> Good. So, please. Not happening. So let's try it again. Because now she will be able to hit. Do you shoot at him? Move it! You're in my way. Are you getting up? Yes. So get a little bit closer. And heal off of him. In your face! Although <laughs> well, we're not quite done yet. Will I be able to shoot? Of course. <gasps> now we, you are not ready yet. <coughs> Let's delay your turn.
Okay. And they should conclude this fight. <laughs> Demology on tough luck. And excuse me. And another sword. We really kick your ass, you demon. <laughs> thanks! Thanks! Huh? You're so st stupid! Okay, I'm lost. We smashed his teeth in. Why is he laughing? Free! Finally! I'm whole and free again, thanks to you! Thanks! Thank you and farewell, you dumb fools! Have fun in this crappy dungeon for all eternity! Like Goldilocks braids, we've helped out another bad guy again! Oh, bunny pellets! Uh, he left, so we're cool, right? No, unbiased hourglasses. It's too late. They went back to the demonic planes. It's that wanderer who was skulking about the inn. The one smoking his dumbass pipe. Something tells me he's not a real wanderer. I knew he was a fake. Moreover, I'm taller than him. I'm Dr. Oswald, head of the Time Squad from the Dungeons Fund. Doctor Who? From what? As you know, the Dungeons Fund is the institution running the numbers for all adventurers in the land of Fang. My squad makes sure that the space-time continuum stays intact, despite the adventurers. Tell me about it. Another big dweeb. You could have come to our help faster, you squid ink pen pusher. My first imperative is not to meddle with the guests. But in this case, you guys suck so bad that the fate of the universe is changing radically. Watch your mouth. At least I'm not an imposter. Yep, you're a very real chair stuffer. Hey, come on, Listen, that's not... The demon Lozax has got his powers back thanks to your intervention. He's gone to the demonic planes. So what? Good riddance. Their curse is still active. We're trapped in the time loop. All right, we're kind of screwed. Kind of a lot. Isn't there something you can do? Even I can't break this demonic loop. But uh, uh, magic always finds a way, doesn't it? Mm, maybe No, if... that's uh, evil. Anything? Maybe if we found a dungeon master, we could lift the curse by bringing this place back to its initial state. What do you mean, maybe? Time policing isn't an exact science. I think that the curse's stability depends on the absence of Zangdar, the master of this place. And yet, he's still there. Of that, I'm sure. Yeah, we should find the dungeon master. He's there, but not here? I don't get it. Who's the dungeon master guy? I've said enough already. I'm going to follow another lead by myself. He says that when he's actually out of ideas, the hooded piece of shit. Oh, so we know what we're doing. Well, maybe we should ask for some arcanic help. Great gods, if you only had a powerful wizard in our party. I guess we'll go back to those crooks in the VIP room. But, first things first, let's read that book. Mm, this one. Many cursed artifacts have been linked to tough luck. One could name the inconveniently loaded D20, which will always roll to the worst outcome possible or to the underside of couches. The curse number one, that coffee mug, which will always find its way to one's shirt just before the divorce hearing. The want of blunderbolt, which forces the user to spout embarrassing trivia about themselves or the aforementioned misplaced umbrella of despair. And I Crap, what a mess. For you. Nope, it was for if it you. it sticks, it's my Let's boots. See, it's definitely the better. Oh, cool. The same as Krom. So, let's... I guess we're going back to the VIP room. All the way to the tavern. And as far as I can tell... There's not really... Yeah. Oh. Interesting. I may go to the shop. Yeah, I think I will visit the shop just to check maybe they have better pendants and rings, so be right back. I'm done with the shopping. I've bought a couple of rings and some other stuff. So now we can go back to the tower. And remember, we still have those blocked off doors on the first floor. That we need to get through. Hello? Oh, okay. Can you? Um, is there a buying chance someone wants to talk to us? No. 
okay. Fine, I guess. You? Heavens! What great distress! I was wronged! How unfair can this world be? A nobleman seems to be in distress. It would be civil of us to be of assistance. Greetings! Can we be of any help? Zutokins, your appearance is... But maybe you were wronged by the same vandals. I was unjustly molested by some miserable rozzers. By what? The guardians of these sinister cells in, in which I've been wrongly jailed for. Um, not, not that it matters. Would you get to the fucking point already? They said I was not supposedly inebriated and that I must, and I quote, sober up in a cell under the false pretense that I tried to relieve myself on their shoes. Some folks can be so mean. Muddy shoes, might I add. Barely worthy of my McTurition. Those rascals dragged me into jail, which tore some buttons off my running coat. A coat of great value. What a nutbag. Calm down now. Just have them sewn back on. I'm in such distress, I can't even move. From fear of being jailed again by those unshaven bobbies. Besides, talking to a seamstress would be quite degrading. Oh boy, that is some hardship you're facing, all right. He's crazy. Yeah, with from riches to rags. Rags, that's the word. Ah, terrific. Thank you for your sacrifice. Here, why don't you do it for me? Uh, what? But no! Do me a favor. Please find the buttons scattered by the bandits and have my coat mended. I won't be stingy. I guess might as well. But first things first. I believe the Exploratory Collective is back with a new request. So they are. The roads they've taken through their wondrous peregrinations seem to have brought them to us in search of our miracles, or they're running in circles like idiots. The proletariat tends to repeat the mistakes of the past. Alas, tis probably the price of a respectable person has to pay when they associate with such flunkies. <laughs> but how entertaining they are. We're looking for the master of this dungeon. It seems he's being held captive somewhere and kept hidden. I see. It goes without saying, however, that our intervention is dependent on just retribution of our astral skills via a preliminary transfer of fiat cash. We manage on our own. We can't give him our gold. Wait, wait, wait. What if I told you we are all trapped in a demonic time loop? The dread that comes with the evils unleashed by demons is prone to make any wise man doubt his own path. But did you really think you could play us like that? Yeah, because all you do is drink, smoke like a couple of blast furnaces, and pig out on fondue. We're aesthetes of the cheesy agape. How dare you? Just a sec, I'm checking my Astral Anomalies scanner. I had in fact switched it off when we arrived to keep the commercial solicitations from interrupting us. Drat! Damn, we've been duped, like, like dupes. And how am I supposed to find the chosen one, his magic sword, and the crazy bitch in the lake now? You see? We share the same nightmare. Our common interest is obviously linked to the termination of this demonic space-time disturbance. However, it is not our want to do volunteer work. Dude, you're a total asshole. Not only did you pawn my sword to pay your debts, but now you won't even lift a finger for those kids who are trying to save our asses? Yes, well, it seems reasonable to outline the convergence of our needs as a justification for the deduction of the full amount of our wages for the aforementioned intervention. We have been told the Dungeon Master must be brought back in order to break the loop. Tis true that the return of the Master of these premises should appease the existential dissonance clutching at this dark fortress. But where is the fucker? We could look for him through a divinatory ritual, like the times I have to pick the ripest cheese wheel in a cheese cellar. If you could, that would be perfect. But to do this, we need something that belongs to him, a valuable item. How are we supposed to find an item that belonged to someone we don't know? It would be surprising if you couldn't find any of the Master's personal belongings anywhere in the whole fortress. Ask his personal servants for information. His steward, for example? Uh, who could we interrogate? Ravax, the half-goblin, the steward of this dungeon. Good idea. We'll pull bits off of him until he talks. Yes! If this keeps going, I'll end up disappearing from this adventure altogether. My life is but a long, miserable humiliation. We can always count on you to whine. Come on, onto the fourth floor. 
Come and find us in the summoning circle with an item that is befitting. We'll be laying the groundwork for the ritual ceremony, the accomplishment of which relies on rhythmic sequential cantillations. Oh, it's obvious now, right? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go look for those buttons, though. Who knows when we'll have another chance. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, look? yeah, go ahead. I mean, that all four of them will be in here, in the fort? Oh, I see one. Look, it's shiny. It must be a gold coin. Nah, it's just a coat button. Puh, this sucks. It must be one of the coats buttons we were asked to find. We have to get the others back. Is it really gonna be that easy? Is it actually gonna be an easy quest? Or not? They're so goddamn tiny. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. What do we have over there? <gasps> Holster! Give me that. Give me that. Nice. By the way, do we have something new? Not here, but. Let's compare it. It's better. Do I give him the gold now? So the poor get that. poorer. Well, I think it's better. Oh, I don't care what you have. We've been doing so well without any of the consumables. I'm amazed. Yeah, no, probably not. Honestly, I see no pattern. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one. What's the last? Oh, there it is. Okay, now we can go back. Have someone fix the code. You know, lady, you can do this, right? Right. We'd like to have this coat mended with those buttons. I see. This red ingot is pretty fancy. This will be expensive, let me warn you. That's not a problem. Our client can pay. Great. I'll start right now. It'll be ready in three days. Wait, just for some buttons? Just kidding. Here, done. I used Ilgard's stitching spell. Whoa, you can't hold back arcanic science. Thank you. Now let's go back to the elevator. Let's give the ready this coat back. And hopefully he won't be whining for so much longer. Move this. Thank you. My dear commoners, you were of great help. Let me see. Great work. It is as good as new. Here, for your troubles. This is a rip-off. The seamstress cost us more than this. 
Well, no matter. It's all I have. But you'll have the satisfaction of knowing you've helped me out. Go fuck yourself. Pay up, or we keep your rags. But, but, you wouldn't dare. Nobility comes more from your attitude than your frock. Do be a gentleman and pay up. Also, my fellows can be rather violent. Very well. I have no money left, but here, have this piece of expensive jewelry, since your venality knows no bounds. Oh, thank you. I guess. Huh. That's better. Seriously, 25 gold for that. Okay, let's see... Where are we going? So, let's update the map. Right. Uh, over there. All the way over there. I'm fucking taking Dwarf my car maps are great! Heavier, but sturdier! Oh, well, we can go through the escape room. I'm trying to quickly. <sighs> I haven't looked at this. No. Oh, no, we did that. That's for the Goblin Polos. Well, here we are, but no Raybacks. Strange, all these signs of struggle. Looks like a battle went down here. Ha! Goblins are always squabbling with each other. There's a strange broken bottle on the ground. Look, it's some Chateau Le Luzer, a renowned vintage. What do we care about empty bottles? There's not a drop left in it. Chateau Le Luzer is no mere table wine. It's a premium vintage. The bottle was smashed. This warrants our attention. I think we should listen to the thief. For once. Ah, uh, thank you. It's good to feel validated. Who's the thief guy again? Ah, uh, should I be bothered by being ignored by the ignorant? Okay, fine. We should listen to him. But it feels weird. I knew it. My isolation was the result of a plot. Well, come on. We're listening. Doesn't mean we have to like you. So where's Ravax if he's not around? I was saying he's been abducted. This bottle is a major hint. Look, there are goblin hairs and bits of flesh on the glass shards. Ew, that's gross! If someone knocked him out with the bottle and since the whole dungeon is trapped in a loop, this means the bottle must have come from the inn. That holds up. It's an interesting investigative approach to find where Ravax is. Who's that Ravax guy? Well, I think it'd be better to interrogate Mel Boots. The innkeeper must know something about this bottle. This boorish innkeeper reeks of garlic and bad liquor, but his seedy looks might be hiding his true usefulness from us. <laughs> this can be said of all peasants, and appearances hold no value for me. Really? But you thought I was handsome. Yeah, fine. Got it. Still, it feels wrong. I mean, paying attention to the thief is just... Odd. In turn, I'll act as if I didn't hear what you just said. Let's go to the inn. The big old. You too. Ish. Well, but we're gonna do this another time. So, for <laughs> now, thank you very much. Be alive and see you soon. Bye.